Welcome. I'm Jane Rogers. I am so excited you're here. You found a tribe of folks interested in the same thing you are. There are two things that I hope you'll enjoy exploring in this first lesson. One, just the nuts and bolts of how to navigate the course to get the most out of it. But first, a discussion about why we're here doing this in the first place, why it is super important. We're the first generation to be able to look at extending our healthy lives, the first one. And you are so smart to have latched on to the fact that this is a paradigm-shifting age in which we find ourselves. You want to soak it all up. The earlier in your life you can implement some of this anti-aging science, the more effective it will be. I am reading more and more about folks in their 20s and 30s jumping all over this. So to start this off, here's Dr. Jeffrey Gladden, a longevity MD from Dallas, with a thought process on why we would even want to live to 100 or 120. And, you know, really, when you think about your life, um, what we what we really enjoy about our lives is having great relationships, being creative, making an impact in our communities and our you know, uh, businesses and our families, right? It's being relevant, being impactful and doing that. And so <clears throat> one of the things that, um, that I told the audience is that longevity, because I asked the question initially in this talk, why longevity? What, why are we talking about longevity? Why would you want to live to 100? Why would you want to live to 120? And what I told them was longevity is the currency of impact, in fact, longevity is the currency, right? Longevity is the way. currency mm -hmm. of exponential impact. Why exponential impact? Gladden went on to explain that likely in your life you had an impact between ages 20 and 30, but typically someone has an even greater impact with each passing decade. Now, what will happen if you let the normal aging process unfold? At some point, you'll see exponential decline in your impact, how you show up in the world. That's the way aging is. It's very hard to think that will ever happen to you, but I think we can readily see it, have empathy for and learn from those hitting those rapid decline points in their lives. For some, that exponential decline starts as early as your 50s, and you hear the age-related excuses, I used to jog, but I gave it up. I used to do this or that, but I don't do that anymore. Those are the warning signs. The exponential decline of aging is coming. Diseases of aging strike, heart disease, cancer, dementia. It's hard. These are often people we love dearly. For most, the rapid decline of aging and the impact is well underway by the 70s and 80s. Watching this is a wake-up call to all of us. Until now, we didn't think there was much we could do about it. We thought it was just the way it goes. But today, aging has actually been called a disease by the World Health Organization, and life-extending technologies to slow aging are already here to combat it. There is hope. In fact, some researchers say just staying alive five more years to take advantage of even more potent technologies that are on the horizon is what you want to do. But from the interviews I've done with the world's experts, I believe one must jump all over what is here now as soon as you can. And that's why I'm glad you're here to look into being an early adopter. With each lesson in this course, we'll explore the technologies available to us now to give us a longer health span. This course is not static. As new research findings come out, I'll share them right here with new modules and new lessons. You're always welcome to return in the years ahead to keep up with what's new. And no matter your chronological age or how much money you have in the bank, there are anti-aging findings here in these lessons that you can take advantage of to change the exponential decline of aging to a more linear decline. Flatten that steep curve and keep your impact going for decades longer than it would have otherwise. So to help you do that, here's how to get the most out of this course. Once you've completed this lesson, lesson one, you're going to see along the top, back to module one. When you click that, you'll see the remaining lessons in module one. Click on the next one, which is lesson two. And you can either watch the video or read the transcript of the video in the link below. If there are other resources, 
to the lesson. I will have linked them below too. So you keep working your way through the remaining lessons in module one. And when you're finished, start module two, which you can see on the far left hand side of the screen and so on. Here's what each module is all about. In module one, we're going to dive into the lifestyle factors that set you up for success in increasing your health span. Module two is all about the molecules that research is showing give you extra healthy years in your life. Module three is about some of the anti-aging interventions that you can do that really work. Module four is about the testing that's out there to help measure your progress. Finally, as you're navigating this course, remember that I'm a journalist by training. I'm not a doc or a researcher. I have a video and audio podcast called Cutting Edge Health, where I interview the experts in this field. But it's important that we're all on the same page and that this website and the information in this course is provided for educational and informational purposes only. It does not constitute medical advice or professional services. So always seek the advice of your doctor or other qualified health provider. Cutting Edge Health is not responsible for what might happen to you if you use this information in place of official advice from a medical professional. So with that behind us, onward to lesson number two. I am really so excited that you're here. Have a great day.